Hi all, so welcome to this new tool called Kamunda. Names to be a very unique, different and crazy and so does its uses. So for a one liner explanation, what I can say is, it helps in automating the daily based tasks. So the moment when you want to execute it or when you come across a situation that you need to uh, implement the daily based task, you will simply create an incident of it and you will make use of that and then you will throw it in dustbin so this process repeats now i'll that was a one liner explanation so this is simply a bpm tool which is used for creating workflows to automate the daily based tasks but now to give a clear understanding or clear picture of this tool i'll take an example and then i'll um, i'll explain okay in traditional way how it was done and how bpm tools like kamunda this is not the only one, there are many others, but this is one of those BPM tools, business process management. So how tools like this helps us in automating those daily tasks. Okay, so let's assume, okay, let's consider a scenario, a traditional scenario where you are calling a customer service center and then you are raising a complaint and the guy on the other side who is trying to solve your issues is, create, is writing a uh, suppose he is writing on a notepad okay he got all the details from you and then he will find a person who can solve it for you or he will find a group who, who is related to this and then when the time is there for that group to solve this one more new complaint they will take into action and then they will whatever the actions need to be done uh, they will do and then it will go on to the next group and so on so on after the process is completed uh, the customer will get kind of feedback or uh, asking how the service was resolved, how the issue was uh, considered, everything was fine or not or how we can improve our customer service. So all these things will happen again and again. So this was like a manual thing. Okay. Now uh, let's see how we can implement the same scenario in the common. Okay. So for suppose uh, this first task is the person who is trying to understand your complaint as as he is the one who is receiving your call and you are explaining him all the situation correct so here assuming that this flow is implemented we are giving him some forms some fields to fill all those details that is required to uh, understand the issue and try to resolve so we, all the details which could be useful for the groups who is trying to resolve okay then he will simply create all uh, all the fill all the values with the in the forms and then he'll submit it okay now the person who is writing and taking your complaints will not be bothered about who is working on it or when it is going to be resolved and when the customer will be getting the feedback he is not concerned about all this so he'll be getting on to the next incident okay so it is like the process that i have explained you before that was one incident of the same process when the new complaint comes, one more new incident will create. So that's how uh, the incidents will be created. Now let's concentrate on one incident. So the first task that is a person who received your call, wrote down your complaint and he simply completed his task. Now next, after this task is completed, it is going into some ruling engine that is simply an if else for suppose. Okay. There it is some categorization happens and there we decide okay which group should handle this kind of complaint okay then it is be assigned to this third task so this third task is like okay the third task got a complaint and it is assigned to a specific group so that group and all we configure it and once that is configured so like there are 10 people in that group one of them finds that okay i am free i can work on uh, any ticket or any complaint that is assigned to my group so all the 10 groups, all the 10 members of that group can see that, okay, there is one complaint which is assigned to this group. Let uh, And once one of the person takes or claims that, yes, I want to work on that, the remaining nine people won't be able to see because uh, we don't want multiple people to be working on the same uh, complaint, right? So that is how we assign to group and then inside the group, uh, group members will take the task. And once they complete it, it will be going to the next group so in that way it is going to be completed so here what is happening again there is some automation happened in deciding which group is going to work and here the group members are working on it 
but they are not bothering like if there is any task which is uh, worked by a uh, ex member of that group and is able to complete it or not okay they are simply saying if there is any complaint coming to our group whether that is taken or not and uh, suppose i am belong to that group and i am working on it so once i complete my task i am not bothered like uh, who is going to take it up in the next group okay i am simply saying that in this incident i am completing with my task and i am done now the control will move on to the next group so there uh, the group members can see okay there is one complaint came which has to be worked so that is how we segregate um, that the person who is meant for doing some specific thing should not focus on the other thing okay so uh, once uh, the final group is completing the ticket will be resolved or you can say uh, the customer will get the feedback or feedback will be asked from the customer and the incident will be gone so this is going to be uh, repeated multiple times as the number of complaint so we can say for one complaint we are creating one incident of this flow okay so that was the scenario uh, for just demonstration now we are going to see how to create all these flows and what are the different properties available for us okay so we are going to explore this complete commanda in the playlist that you can watch out in this channel so regarding this tool if you have any query on the concept chaligar because we are going to explore all the properties in the upcoming videos but conceptually if you have any queries please write down in the comment section thank you